Alabama. I love this label. Look, it reminds me of like this a hip clothing line. Does it? Red glass brand. <laughs> Are you new at this? Just started. Yeah, I see. 22 years. Which, by the way, we're at 600 and something online videos, and I was doing this, and Ed started before Wine Library, before Guy Vary Vinerchuk. We have to be one of the most prolific wine video uh, sites on the, on the web. Right. Think? Um, mm. God, this is so good. Dude, this isn't even anything like the Garnot. <coughs> Excuse me. This is Carina, Adelia. Yeah, it's a little confusing because there's Carignina and then there's Carignan, which is the grape. They have nothing to do with each other. Mm. Wow. Man, this is really something. But, you know, this is Garnacha, known in, in France as Grenache. And the fact is, God, it's a so Spanish grape. It, was, it, it, it comes and is indigenous to Spain, not in, uh, France, but it makes one of the most famous French wines, uh, Chateau of the Pop. You know, this... What a departure from that wreak havoc, wreak and havoc, or havoc and wreak, whatever it was, or havoc and mayhem, that uh, from Australia, here it is a different, same grape, different part of the world. This is the most complex thing I think I've yeah, tasted amazing. today. Well, Grenache is a great grape, and it grows really well in California, and we have featured some fabulous Grenaches lately, mm. you know, and I think we're going to see a lot more Grenache because it's so adaptable to this climate, and this, I think it's just, this, this is, is a 97 for me. This is so good. Twenty two ninety nine on the shelf. Fourteen ninety nine for more. Probably the best example of a Garnacha that I've had, actually. I'm doing a 98. So there. I don't care. What can I say? When you're right, you're right. 